Do you know what the National Order of the Arrow Conference is? It's also known as NOAC. Let's talk about it. Hey, Scatter Stan. I want to talk a little bit about NOAC, which is a huge thing. But first of all, I want to thank you for joining me here on our channel. Uh, if you have any questions about NOAC uh, and can't find anything else online, uh, drop us a note here and we will tackle that answer. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, being a part of this community. It is really super special. Now, before I start talking about NOAC, which is an OA or an Order of the uh, uh, Brotherhood that we have in scouting, um, that's, that's one of the big things of the Order of the Arrow. Um, before we start, I got to get ready to talk about the Order of the Arrow and NOAC. So, hang on. Camera magic. Ready? There we go. Now we can talk about it. Let's first talk about joining up. I tell you what, NOAC is one of those things. It's big. It's huge. It's gigantic. It's enormous. And it can be overwhelming. So it, 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 about two years before you actually go to NOAC, you get ready. You actually start the joining in process. Uh, that process is important. You're joining a contingent uh, with your lodge, and you're going to this huge um, conference. It is, it's huge, okay? So it's nothing to be afraid of, but it is something that youth and adults can partake in, and it is awesome. Um, I actually was an advisor for our contingent once, and, uh, and an associate advisor on the very next one. Now they have these every two or three years. It, it really depends on the scouting schedule. Uh, they don't, National obviously doesn't want to strain itself out or its scouts. So <laughs> they naturally have a um, period of time in between so they can get ready. Uh, that's very important for any of the events that they do, whether it be Jamboree, World Jamboree, uh, whatever a big thing that's going on. They try to put NOAC in there. Now, the schedule was kind of messed up because of all the COVID stuff. So that's one thing. Uh, but they're getting back into regular conventions and regular conferences and uh, that is something that's coming down the line. So when you get joined up, uh, typically uh, there is a, a join-in process in your local area to get involved in the NOAC. Now typically there is a uh, package with NOAC which includes all of the transportation, all of the uh, extra activities that might be thought of and, and might be needed uh, as a way to get to the conference on a scheduled basis. Um, that's something that goes on, uh, but that's really the uh, time to start um, earning your way and uh, basically raising funds to pay for your big trip. Now, this is a big deal for your council. Uh, every council uh, has a lodge, uh, and it's a huge, the contingent is a huge thing. And these are scouts from all over the council, uh, all over the area. Um, they are going together to the big conference. So it's important to have maybe a camp out or a shakedown or... Uh, meetings, you know, these things happen before you go so that you get to know everybody in your contingent. That's very important. Traveling is done as a group. Now, whenever scouts are traveling, adults and youth wear the uniform. They wear their sash. They are going to the, to the NOAC. Uh, that's a big, important thing to do. Uh, we need to show the communities out there that we can travel and 
uh, be kind to others and considerate and traveling is a huge thing. Now that's part of your package typically. Now whether it be bus or train or an airplane that's what is based on where this is uh, of the, the NOAC and when so you could get there in a timely fashion. Now sometimes, now I know that when I was um, the contingent leader uh, for uh, our um, NOAC, the, we had to be there at a certain time. We were, there was a certain time on a date that we had to be there so that we could get through the uh, medical check-ins and all of the packages of all the stuff coming back. Uh, that was huge to make sure that that was taken care of um, and being there on time. So we had to fly in and then take a bus. And it was better to be early than to be on time or late. Okay, so we got there early. So, you know, pack your patience. That's what they tell us. Uh, pack your patience and definitely get there early early so that you will be on time when it's time for you to check in. Now NOAC is a little bit different than uh, say the National Jamboree. National Jamborees you have a tent city where everyone's living in tents whereas NOAC everyone is usually at a college uh, in the summer uh, off schedule <laughs> off the school year and we're in dorms so that's a very, very nice thing. Uh, you don't have to live in a tent city and uh, running bathrooms and all of the nice things that come along with living in a dorm. Uh, that's a part of it. And getting assigned to that dorm and getting over to that dorm and getting all your stuff to that dorm can be logistically a hassle. So as a contingent member, pack your patience, listen carefully to instructions, and, you know, uh, that's one of the wonderful things. It, it is huge. It's a gigantic thing. But once you're in, you're there, and you're going to have a great time. Now, right away, they're going to have events every single night. There's going to be a huge uh, coliseum, uh, the, whatever kind of sports uh, amphitheater, whatever it is they're going to fill that with all of the contingent members from all over the United States. And that's the first night and they do it every single night. Okay. So <laughs> that's one of the wonderful things about NOAC. It's a convention and uh, it's a conference where you get to do a lot of neat things, but every single night there's a big event. After that, it's back to the dorms and get ready for the next day. Um, that's kind of the the schedule on a daily basis. Every day you'll be eating in the commissary, which is the cafeteria or dining area of the dorm. Uh, that's something to that's important. Every contingent is assigned to a dining area. Typically they have wristbands or, or some kind of ID that specifies what dining area. And the food, wow. The food is actually quite good. Uh, there isn't a scout or, or a scout that will go hungry. There's always something good to consume at every single meal. Now, once they're all filled up with the, the food of their choice, uh, it's time for activities. And they do activities each day. During the day, they do uh, things like classes. Uh, courses that are uh, sponsored by National to learn things like different ceremonies and to learn how to communicate better within the lodge or the or the chapter. Uh, that's something that they do uh, throughout the week. It's a conference, so there's a lot of different classes and seminars that you can go to uh, that will give you even more insight into the order. In addition to that, they also have competitions. Uh, they have a dance competition for uh, American Native Garb and dance and uh, drum teams and all that kind of stuff. They have competitions. They also have a lot of sports have, uh, activities. Uh, they have a big uh, marathon that they do sometimes. Uh, I think, yeah, 
the last few that I've been involved in, they had a marathon. Uh, they also have a basketball tournament. They have all different kinds of competition. Here's another thing they do. They also have a lot of displays. The convention that goes on will have all of the major uh, camps will be represented. Uh, they were handing out brochures and trying to get people interested in doing activities at those things. There will also be suppliers, uh, backpack manufacturers, tents, um, you know, you name the product that scouts use it will be represented in some kind of form uh, at the convention. Uh, there's usually a convention hall where you go around and, and see the latest and greatest uh, inventions from all of the suppliers that we use as campers. Now one of the big things is patch trading. In the OA we have very colorful, very imaginative, very beautiful patches with stitch work that is beyond belief and we trade patches we go and we do different uh, flap for flap you know these are things that we do we trade patches at the uh, at NOAC that is huge uh, people often uh, will put out a blanket and will put out what they want to trade and when the scout comes along they can strike up a conversation and maybe the scout would have a little bag or something that the person with the blanket out could actually go through and then they come up with a trade. Uh, they shake hands and both parties are happy with their brand new patch. It is a wonderful thing. Now adult leaders typically do not trade patches with youth. Um, there's a reason. The youth will always come out on top. They will always, <laughs> they will walk away with every patch uh, possible. Uh, that's just the scouting way. Uh, I trade with youth, but that that's part of it. You know, that's part of it. I am never, never. If they're not happy with that, they can, they they don't have to trade. You know, it's it's not something that's a pressure situation. Uh, we need to do a video about trading patches. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I've done it for years. Um, it is something that's a, it's very uh, big, especially at NOAC. The day before they kind of wrap everything up, uh, they have a Founders Day. Now, the Founders Day is where each lodge will actually put up a booth. Um, it's usually outside or it could be in a convention hall. It really depends on the weather. Um, that's something that they put together and each contingent, each lodge that's in attendance will do something special. They might have a display or they might have a game or they might have an activity. Uh, they might even, um, I believe when I was advisor, we spray painted people. <laughs> Little arrows on their arms and stuff. You know, scouts love that, getting into that stuff. So that was one of the things we did. And um, that is a big thing. The Founders Day often will have a special patch for your contingent. That might be your whole booth. That's something to think about. If you're going to be involved in this NOAC thing, <laughs> make your booth special, okay? Now there's plenty of other stuff going on. There's meetings and conferences and specialty things. Uh, the last one that I went to, there was a special address uh, from an astronaut, uh, an aeroman that was up on the space station, uh, was trying to promote uh, Eagle Scouts, trying to get them involved in doing, doing the Eagle Scouts. So they had a special presentation where he talked to an entire stadium of people. That was huge, okay? That was special. And there's a lot of those things that go on. There's these magical moments that, that happen um, at all of these different things. Um, it is something to go into. It is something to have a good time with. In 2012, I was the advisor for the our contingent to this particular um, NOAC. Uh, it was wonderful. We had a great time. I was associate advisor at the uh, 2015, and the 2015 did something that had never been done 
they actually changed the color of the sash. The sash they gave us was red. It was an actually a red sash, and we got to wear it the entire conference. Now, you're not allowed to wear it after that, but <laughs> that was how it looked. This is, this is a prized thing. That was the 100th anniversary of, the, of our order, and uh, this was a special occasion. So they, everybody that attended had a red sash. And that was that was huge. Uh, I've been offered money for that, and uh, probably not. <laughs> not gonna not gonna sell it. It is very special to me. Uh, so that being said, there's a lot of that kind of stuff that happens at every NOAC. Now the big blast at the end is usually a huge night at. It's almost like a play or a musical. <laughs> they have done some incredible presentations uh, with lasers, and it, it is amazing. It is it is major to be a part of that uh, as a contingent? Uh, it's something that you will always think about. Uh, it is very special, so you definitely want to uh, do the big blowout uh, the last night. Of course, the next day, it's bug out. It is time to go. And usually, how you got there is how you leave there. So there might be a little bit different. There might be an activity. You might be leaving. And it might be on a strange day to travel. So there might be activities. You might go to museums as a contingent. You might go whitewater rafting. You might go see different things. Okay? That's something. Uh, that that can be done uh, on the way home and also the way there you could do either side uh, there's a lot of activities that could be done and that is huge that is huge uh, find out what they're planning they're going to include it before they go as a contingent member you have you have input you could say hey let's uh, we'll be traveling right by where they have this big museum, big display, maybe that might be something you could do. Uh, so think about on the way to and the way from, you might do extra activities. Some contingents go directly to it, <laughs> do the event, and back home. So that's something that, that you have to work with your contingent. My recommendation is to definitely bring two pairs of shoes inevitably one pair is going to mess up and then you got a problem so bring two pairs of shoes uh, to the event you are going to be walking a lot there's no transportation typically because everything's so close it's a it's a college compound so that's where you are and because of that you walk to all of the different events so you're going to need a good pair of shoes you will also need to make sure that there's a lot of space on your media. So if you're using a camera, a telephone, or a video camera, you're going to need a way to move those things into something permanent storage. So you're going to have that ability to do that. You're going to have to bring it with you. So you need to have a laptop or a tablet or something you can put memory in, or even just a bunch of memory chips. That also uh, seems to work. That way you can small, you can keep it compact, you can keep it safe in your, in your gear. Uh, and then when you get home, you can edit together and put a big th thing together of all those wonderful memories from NOAC. One of the big things that I recommend, and that, and that can't be said enough, when you have 6,000, 7,000 scouts, trying to get into a big stadium, it's, going to, it's not going to happen in 15 minutes. It's going to take an hour to two hours to get everybody in and probably another hour to get everybody back out. Uh, it is, pack your patience. Uh, be kind to one another uh, at the event. Um, always remember, scouts are kind to other scouts, <laughs> not just one way. Uh, we need to be uh, patient and kind to one another, and I, I know you are. You 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 are that kind of person. You 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 
go for these kind of things. You, you like these big events and having fun. So with that in mind, keep up the good work. I know you do good work, so just keep it up, you know. And thank you so much for joining me here uh, on our channel. And if you ever have a question or need help in any way, let us know, and we can help. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the trail.